an Islamic rights advocacy group. The Muslim rights concern Murik has appealed to the ruling All Progressive Congress presidential candidate Bola Tinubu to ensure the enforcement of the Supreme Court's ruling on the hijab crisis in Lagos State. This was contained in a statement issued on Monday by the group's director. And who is the group director? Professor Ishak Akintola. And he begs the former Lagos governor to intervene in the matter, saying it affects the constitutional rights of Muslims in the state. These people, they know they're hungry. Are they not feeling what is happening in this country? So that one is not important to them. It is this uh, hijab, where hijab, where hijab. The Lagos state government had banned the use of hijab in public schools on the premise that it was not part of the approved school uniform for students. Consequently, Muslim students filed a suit on May 27, 2015, asking the court to declare the ban as a violation of their rights to freedom of thought, religion, and education. The suit marked CA and all of those uh, quotations was filed by one Asiat Abdul Karim through her father, Moriam Oyeniyi, and the Muslim Student Society of Nigeria against the state government. Justice Modukpe Onyabo of Ikeja High Courts on October 17, 2014, dismissed the suit. Onyabo aired that the prohibition of the wearing of hijab over school uniform within and outside the premises of public schools was not discriminatory. However, a division was overturned by a five-member panel of the Court of Appeal on July 21, 2016. The panel upheld the Muslim students' contention that the ban violated their right to freedom of thought, conscience, religion, the dignity of human persons, and freedom from discrimination guaranteed by the 1999 Constitution. Dissatisfied with the verdict, Lagos states took its appeal to the Supreme Court. In June, the APS Court affirmed the right of Muslim female students in the state to wear hijab to school. Five out of the seven members panel of the APS Court heard that banning the use of hijab is discriminatory. But five months after the Supreme Court ruling, the state government has reportedly not made any policy or given any discreet to ensure compliance with the ruling. The statement issued by Murik reads, Strangely enough, the government of Lagos State is yet to say a single word since the judgment of the Supreme Court in favor of hijab. Meanwhile, the repression of female Muslim students continues as school principals and teachers claim ignorance of the Supreme Court's judgment. They insist on disallowing hijab until we can produce a secular issued by Lagos State government. Okay. Hmm. This terrorist is not even talking about security, electricity, food security, good roads, but a non-issue. Just like I said, though, whether they are not even feeling it, they are not feeling it at all. For them, religion is more important than socioeconomic development and improving the standard of living. With this Murik man, Nigeria is sitting on time bomb. I think uh, he needs help because his reasons and opinions are always bad. So, so, so bad. You can say that again. Hijab. Is Lagos a Muslim state? I can't even comprehend this. This Murik man has never liked peace and the same peace will never be near it will never come near him. We hijab add beauty to the economic problem in this country. That person who brought religion to divide us eh, and cause chaos in this country is cost. Fulanization agenda Biafra is only our hope. Free Mazenam de Kano unconditionally free Biafra. Is this your plan for the Muslim Muslim ticket? And you want Christians to be comfortable with this and vote your candidate with this your statement? Hmm. And that's another thing. You know. This is the reason why some people are afraid. Professor Ishak Akintola will not rest until he sees that the South is destabilized. Well meaning leaders, well meaning leaders should call him to order. Have they not been hearing him before? You see why we are worried about the same faith ticket. Clearly, the real enemies of Tinubu are the people of same faith ticket. Is Tinubu the president of or governor of Lagos State? I don't understand. Tinubu is not Lagos State governor. You see, that is why people are afraid. And people just say, it doesn't matter. You are just trying to be a Vazilius. You are just trying to do it. Thank God you have revealed the secrets behind the ticket. So <laughs> that is the plan you people have on Christians. 
Thank God Tinubu is going nowhere. If not, if not so, this is how they will use him. Is he just trying to create enemies for Tinubu so that he can lose Lagos votes? What is the business of a country's president with mode of dress for religion groups when issues of economy, security, education, health and are on ground to attend? If you like, stop going to mosque or church. What concerns presidents here? Just forget about this man. It's quite obvious that the current legal state governor is just a puppet. Tinubu rules. Of course, it has been the one ruling. I think before now, it didn't even really occur to many people. It, is, it, it has not been obvious. It wasn't obvious. But this Tinubu, this uh, Jide Sonwolu, in fact, uh, that one uh, is just smelling all over him that he cannot even... So the way he behaves, he just says, oh, no, 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 that guy, you know, you get live at all. He can't, now you can't even expose Tinubu, say that Tinubu, they rule. A lot of people did not even really get to know like that. But with this person, oh, oh my God, it's just evidence all over the place. A power drunk cannot make good leadership. Nothing good can ever come from APC. Does Tinubu owns legal seats? I don't understand, though. These ones don't have any agenda, always on the negative side. As the next president per se or what? Hope your our Yoruba people and others who want Bola Tinubu as president. Have you seen how and what Nigeria will look like if he enters, especially from Yoruba region? Islam will cover everywhere because this is Buhari and Fulani agenda. So any of their candidates will have to finish the work for them. Religion is our number one enemy in this part of the world. Now, religion be their own problem in this situation. Upon all the things we would have passed through, so now religion, now this man fisi. Oh, wow. Oh, my shoe. Oh, my shoe. This man should be kept in the DSS cell for stalking the embers of religious disunity. They won't do that. They will never do that. But if it's in uh, another people now, okay, they will quickly swing into action. Ah. We you don't expect us to fold our hands. That is how, that is what you are going to be hearing. You don't expect us to fold our hands and begin to watch people making this kind of comment. That's why we swing into action. But when it comes to this one, they will be deaf and dumb. This man needs celestial church kin to kin out the devil in him. You are speaking for yourself, not for Muslim, because the office is not for anybody to promote his or her religion. And moreover, the seat is contesting for is not legal state seat. Uh-huh. Raz it. They will be implicating themselves. The more, the more, the more, the more. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.